Hello all and welcome back to High Priest Reacts. Hey, we'll be starting on the Death Battle video. Re me, I'll be starting on doing reactions to the re Death Battle videos. I'll be honest, this is actually the uh, fifth, yeah, fifth uh, reaction I've recorded. Second one of these, two of uh, uh yeah, second one of these uh, and two of this wraps before it. With this wraps, it's. I tried, guys, but it's just music. It's yeah, I, it, there's not enough of the substance in the video part to react to, for me to really react to. It's good music. I like listening to it, but yeah. The long story short is I'm I I kind of fucked up on some several shit for uh, the last two Death Battle videos. So it hopefully everything works right here. So, I'll just be reintroducing something I was introduced in the last one. And, my scoreboard. Every time I, one of these videos happen, I'm going to take a guess of, of about what, who's going to win. I have, if I am right, I get a point. If I'm wrong, Death Bell gets a point. You know, just to see a running tally of how good I am at predicting these things. It, it helps that while I'm not recounting the two I misrecorded, I had one point for me and one point for Death Battle. Also, I, well, I, well, I will all make a guess at who's going to win at the start of every video. I will change it, it at the uh, just before the battle part if I feel like I need to. But I, I'll reserve that only for when I don't know enough about either... Uh, person in the fight to really get a good guess in. Right, I'm just gonna pop that back. And right, if this one is the Hulk versus Doomsday one. Alright. Let me just pop that open and there we go. Into the episode, I have something very important to tell you. Our new game, Super Red Ray Gun, just launched on Steam for PC, Mac, and Linux. With over 20 mm. levels, three modes of play, and tongue-in-cheek story of 1980s politics, it's a whole lot of value for just $9.99. Oh, it's doing that shit it where it's not showing you what... you're a giant... Pure, unadulterated rape. <sighs> oh, I was just try trying to skip that to get the actual video. Should have done that beforehand, but I was expecting to be able to use the little pictures that pop up the bottom of the screen of the guy. Nothing rain. popped up. Usually, in it's a annoying. stressful situation, you'd want to avoid this sort of emotion in order to keep yourself focused. Unless you're a giant rampaging pile of muscles, like these two. Dr. Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk. And Doomsday, the monster who killed Superman. Now, oh yeah, I forgot to make my guess. And it's our job to analyze the weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Well, Doomsday, but within yeah, each Doomsday. Of us, off times, there dwells a mighty and raging. Doomsday's fear. entire and shit is even if he does lose the fight, he'll just come back Bruce stronger Bain. and able to beat him. Bruce gets angry. Plus, you know. Oh boy. I mean, if you're using the movie version of Doomsday, yeah, but the movie version of Doomsday is terrible, much like everything to do with the movies. Well, one of them's okay, but... It was never enough to earn the respect and love of his father. Batman v Superman was so garbage. His alcoholic dad literally thought he was a monster, and expressed that to Bruce pretty thoroughly. God damn! How much distance do you think you got there, Wiz? Nine, ten feet? Man, with an arm like that, he could really go places. Like the nut house after he murdered his wife right in front of Bruce. Aww. Understandably traumatized, Bruce coped by creating an imaginary friend to talk to. You know, I had an imaginary friend. Oh, wow, well, they're Dad. having that. What was his they're name? using the song Dad. from the Hulk show. Oh. Well, Bruce's friend served as an emotional outlet all the way through his college graduation. However, his advice to Bruce was oftentimes destructive. So when the U.S. military recruited Bruce to make weapons, it was actually kind of fitting. Bruce was tasked with developing a gamma bomb, which would use gamma radiation to target enemy weapons and buildings without endangering human lives. At least that's <laughs> Bruce's goal. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 not a dick. Oh, God. 
And when it came time to test the bomb and some dumb kid decided to play his harmonica right in the test zone, Bruce asked his assistant to stop the countdown and dashed off to save him. But turns out his assistant was a Russian spy who set up the bomb anyway. On that strange, strange day, huh, Bruce's did not remember that. friend became a real Then again, I only remember like one or two of the original issues, and that's because they came in that convenient little... About this big form. I really? basically only had access Apparently, to them at a summer ever camp. Since, whenever he's angry, Bruce's body and mind morphs into that of the Hulk. Literally, only thing I've read at the grand time. Power. I didn't have anything else to read. While he loses <sighs> Bruce's brain power, the Hulk is ridiculously strong. He can leap great distances, survive the harshest environments, and most importantly, smash the crap out of everything with his bare fists. He also knows a technique known as the Thunderclap, which creates a shockwave that can deafen foes, level forests, and push back explosions. As if he needed anything more which than then been the Hulk a healing factor that gives Wolverines a run for his money. They're healing. They should be dead. He's super strong and super hard to kill. What's not to like? Well, there's one little detail that kind of ruins the whole experience. Bruce can't really control the Hulk. In fact, the Hulk is his own being, and they both hate each other, vying for dominance over Bruce's body. And yet, Bruce and the Hulk are often reminded how much they depend on each other for survival. Bruce figured if he was stuck with his big green Goliath forever, he might as well try using it for good, eventually joining the Avengers, Defenders, the Fantastic Four, and even the Illuminati. Hulk has held up a 150 Wait, billion ton mountain. Wait, Marty and Illuminati that got the same a-holes who sent him off planet when a planet's and led to splitting apart. everything right that was World War Hulk. He just jumped right in there and pulled the planet back together. The estimated average mass <laughs> of the lithospheric plate is nearly 45 quintillion <laughs> tons, and the Hulk pulled yeah, the Yeah, that, that sounds about right for the Hulk. And he's not just strong and tough, he's more than twice as fast as a fighter jet, which puts him over Mach 5 speeds at least, and he can always go faster if he's pissed off enough. This is because the Savage Hulk's strength is directly related to his anger. The angrier he gets, the more powerful he becomes. In theory, this means his maximum level of strength is potentially infinite. And when he taps into that immeasurable In rage practice, the bullets, it's hard to get him that to his name of Worldbreaker. Bigger, stronger, and oozing with gamma radiation. Yeah, you can certainly try. So powerful, with a single stump, he created earthquakes felt hundreds of miles away. In his battle with Sentry, basically Marvel Superman, they almost destroyed ah, New York. Again, and when Hulk. battling another World Breaker Hulk, a single collision between them Wait, obliterated an entire the second world, world Even Breaker the Hulk? Darwin's power, which specifically adapts to counter... Red Hulk actually managed to become that strong? The best defense against the Hulk was to be somewhere else. Holy hell! Who could even stand up to this madness? Not many, obviously. Typically, <laughs> Bruce does his best to contain and yeah. limit the Hulk's power. In fact, World Breaker Hulk is a result of Bruce relinquishing that control entirely. In terms of combat, usually only cosmic beings like Silver Surfer or Zeus have the might to challenge the Hulk. Oh yeah, like that one time Zeus hit him so hard, it burned out his healing factor. But even gods sometimes have to learn the hard way. You yeah. do not mess with the Incredible Hulk. I am a god, you dull creature. And I will not be bullied by that. <laughs> ah, that's a great thing. That's a great thing. Puny god. <laughs> ah. What if all you had ever known was hatred and aggression, violence and pain? This life is reality for YouTube doom comments. Doom Doomsday. Yeah. The doom Doomsday guy. Thousands of yeah. years ago, on an uninhabitable prehistoric planet which would one day be known as Krypton, a scientist named Bertron intended to engineer the ultimate life form. Yep, it's another one of those. Oh, yeah, the shooting dead ba sh shooting babies See, out of the cannon time, thing. Krypton was a hard well, not just that, but still. Sharp rocks, poisonous air, and violent predators. Bertrand believed that if he could create something that could live through that, they could survive just about anywhere. To I uh, this did not know that actually had anything to do with Krypton, though. Somewhere, and through a rapidly accelerated evolution process, attempted to transform him into his dream creation. <laughs> oh, don't try to dance around it, Wiz. 
Bertrand put that little sucker into a baby cannon, blasted him into the wild to get murdered by any number of things, sucked up what was left of him with a vacuum cleaner, and just cloned a new one out of the mess to do it all over again. Well, yeah. <laughs> being each new yeah, I remember that being covered in the one before. Uh, uh, desk of Death Battle. In just a few decades. That doesn't sound like science. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> 30 straight years of baby murder, one of the clones finally survived the test. Amazed by his own success, Bertrand named this baby the ultimate. The ultimate baby. But to the rest of the universe, he was their doomsday. See, Wiz, reloading as it is, patenting my baby cannon was a good idea. Successful as Bertrand's experiment was, it was anything but a good idea. <laughs> while Doomsday you think? appears to be a mindless beast, he remembered every single time Bertrand had him killed. As a result, Doomsday had been unintentionally programmed at a genetic level to hate everything that lives. Bummer. He <laughs> Bertrand was pretty screwed. Because even with 30 years of development, Bertrand had never quite figured out what to do if his experiment actually worked. Because Bertrand is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> he did do what he set out to do. He made an 8 foot 10 monster that doesn't need to eat, breathe, or have internal organs to live. It just kills and kills and kills some more. Doomsday possesses enormous strength, incredible durability, and poisonous spikes which can extend. But due to Bertrand's experiments, Doomsday's greatest power of all is his ability to adapt to his opponent's powers. After taking his sweet revenge, Doomsday stowed away on a supply ship and ravaged dozens of planets until he finally found himself <clears throat> on Earth. On that day, Doomsday did the unthinkable. On that day, Doomsday killed Superman. Well, kind of. He actually put him into a super sleep. After several days, he kind of woke up more powerful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know who is. At least Soups took Doomsday down with him. Or maybe not. Turns out, whenever Doomsday dies, he just comes back to life, forever immune to whatever killed him in the past. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Can't be me the same way twice. He's been punched to death by Superman, blasted apart by the Radiance energy, brutally ripped in half, Incinerated by Imperiax and just Yeah, everyone that basically runs up why I have uh, the trouble seeing him lose to Hulk. On dark side, tanking his Omega beams and beating him to near death. If you don't so take him at the version of him who's been through all these fights, he's just gonna get back up later. He's and then I mean it would kill them. For a century, and even broken Wonder Woman's arms. Arms strong enough to help pull the earth. And during his rematch with the Man of Steel, after witnessing Doomsday survive an explosion equivalent to one million nukes, Superman realized that the only way to stop him was to send him to the end of time. And his most powerful, Doomsday's mere oh. presence can boil the yeah, ocean. Yeah, I suppose that bullets. would work, if only by virtue of keeping Africa him away from everything else. Species, just by walking around. But what he's got in strength, he really lacks in brains. Not that he's dumb, he just literally lacks a brain. More often than not, Doomsday is a little more than a one-track mind-killing machine. This makes his intentions predictable, and a clever opponent could use this to, say, lead him into a trap. And should that foe come up with a new way to hurt Doomsday, he could be killed. Still, that's gonna be pretty goddamn hard to do. Yeah, and he's just gonna come back, get, and then you'll have to kill him again. And you're gonna run out of ways to kill him eventually. I barely remember watching that movie as a kid. I should rewatch that. Let's end this debate <laughs> once and for all. But first, Wiz won't stop talking about this thing, so he wants to tell you about it. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna skip past the uh, ad. All right. Like that, I'm sticking with Doomsday. Well, that's certainly one way to draw to the villains. Like, you, you're not even go, doing uh, the uh, Ruby thing of just making them all black silhouettes. I don't, I don't get the point of coloring them.
<laughs> and of course, everybody in the vicinity dies, because this is a terrible fucking place to be. Like, I'm fully expecting this to be a repeat of the first Superman from the Goku find the plan to just be destroyed. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was doing this fight much more than the other two, which was Amy Rose and the. Uh, 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 but you didn't know I'm had any of this level of destruction. I, I love it when they get this destructive in death battle. Oh yeah! Using two halves of a car as a box as boxing gloves. <laughs> okay, you. Okay, spiky beard. I don't... I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be sustained. It's a single clap. I really don't think that's how that works. You break buildings good, but hold break Yeah, like I said, this is going the same way as Billy Goku with original Goku vs. Superman fight. Not see uh, Hulk winning this. Anyone who's had is that any fight against Superman would have eventually adapted to this level of strength that Hulk can put out. Sure, Hulk could eventually have gotten strong enough to kill him, but as noted, he'd just come back. But yeah, I did it. Not. He'd just come back, and then me would be immune that way of killing him. It's a, it's a character that you need anti-immortality ability, anti-resurrection or anti-immortality abilities to kill him permanently, and Hulk doesn't have those, so... so. I was expecting Hulk to get at least one kill in. On the other hand, he regularly fights against Superman, who, like you said, Hulk's power might be theoretically infinite, but it takes a lot to get him that level of pissed. Alright. KO! Uh, oh, that was beautiful! With the Hulk's immeasurable power and Doomsday's right, I'm just gonna, impossible whoop. immortality, this truly felt like a fight between an unstoppable force and an immovable object. Oh god damn it! God damn it! Well, hopefully it wasn't too bad, because this is fucking pissing me off. Oh, let me check what could possibly... Oh, god damn it. Uh, left steam on again. If it's not... T if the encoding error isn't too bad, I'll just, you know, leave it up. Uh.
Alright. Almost oops, almost forgot to pop that open. Alright. I I turned off it of course it bo got botched again. <sighs> Wonderful. Hulk may have had the advantage in raw strength, at least at his full potential, but Doomsday could certainly hold his ground. His victories against the likes of Super God damn it! No! Stop! Man and Darkseid prove he can take a hit from someone strong enough to break planets. And by experience, Doomsday had the speed advantage. He regularly fights foes with light speed capabilities. I'm sorry if I blew out your ears with that. I'm extreme rarity in the Marvel universe. In fact, the only okay. that fast who holds no encoding error this time. Maybe it's actually working. And that was when he was at his most powerful stage, Worldbreaker Hulk. So overall, Hulk has strength and Doomsday had speed, but I like that. I have, if it's not too bad, I'll still post it. This look like it could go either way, which means the devil's in the very tiny details. So why couldn't the Hulk's infinite strength just keep rising and eventually overwhelm Doomsday? Well, even assuming Hulk's strength was infinite, his healing factor was not. Don't get me wrong, it can only be overtaxed by hits from absurdly powerful beings such as Zeus or Sentry, whom Doomsday certainly compares. Naturally, Doomsday's crazy strength and speed started wearing that healing factor down. Here's where it gets a bit tricky. The Hulk may look like a giant green monster, but he's still technically human, and his power directly correlates with his anger. A human being's anger stems from an increase in hormones and adrenaline in the body. However, the brain can only produce these chemicals at such a rate for a limited time, eventually giving up and turning apathetic. Therefore, Hulk's limitless power could never have existed without his healing factor. It's the key. It allowed his body to continue producing hormones and adrenaline far beyond the norm, theoretically an endless supply, thus increasing his superhuman power to an immeasurable degree. So Doomsday overtaxing his healing factor meant the Hulk could no longer maintain his increasing rage and Hulk form. And if you're still skeptical, that's why there's a bunch of times in comics when a huge impact forced the Hulk to turn back into Bruce Banner, including that battle between Worldbreaker Hulk and Sentry. With his healing power beaten down, he literally couldn't keep himself angry enough to stay in Hulk mode. I love science, but there's still one more thing. Thanks to his battles with Superman and other Kryptonians, Doomsday has evolved to a point where it's basically impossible to kill him with brute force alone. So Hulk couldn't have killed him by just getting angry enough to punch harder than Doomsday ever felt. Precisely. Here's the proof. Superman and Doomsday eventually had a rematch, in which Superman was much more powerful than their first battle. As we discussed before, Superman's power is also potentially limitless by way of continually absorbing solar energy. And at this point in his story, he'd begun to discover that. But try as he might, despite his increased power, Supes couldn't kill Doomsday with blunt force a second time. Ultimately, Doomsday's immunity to being ripped, impaled, incinerated, blasted with energy, and being beaten by blunt force from both focused and multiple sources means Hulk just didn't have the options available to take Doomsday out before his healing factor was overtaxed. On this day, Hulk met his doom. Do Doomsday. The winner is Doomsday. Next time on. Right. Sorry about the screaming. I I get very annoyed at this thing when it does that. Looks <sighs> like I'm gonna have to put off recording a the second a second video tonight until I do uh cleaning. Then again, I did turn off the, that thing that might have actually been shot at the end, so I'll. I'll give another recording a try. But only if that, this video didn't turn out too bad. I, I just... Encoding errors really piss me off, right? So, this is victory for me. Blah, blah, blah. I hope I actually get to keep this one. <sighs> right! Okay! This is, uh... This is High Priest signing out. Uh, I'll see y'all next time, guys.